Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It's Dory from Stampin' Always with Dory. Give everybody a couple seconds to hop on here. If you're on, give me a like or love. Let me know that you're there. I hope everybody is doing well today and staying cool. Oh my goodness, we have heat advisories and all kinds of good stuff. So maybe you guys are inside stamping. Great way to spend the day, right? All right. So I have this quick and cute favor pouch that I would like to share with you today. It is so quick and easy. You guys are going to be completely shocked at how easy it is to make. And you can make two out of one piece of cardstock, which is even better. So like I said, if you guys are there, give me a like or a love and I'll go ahead and get started. Having a little bit of technical difficulty, so hopefully we are live and going. Oh, there's Joanne. Perfect. All right. So these are, of course, Fourth of July is right around the corner on Sunday. Um, the observed holiday is on Monday, so. I'm sure some of you guys might have picnic plans or, um, you know, just spending time with your favorite people. And I thought these were super quick and cute to share, but not only for the 4th of July, but they would be perfect for any occasion. So, oh, sorry, we've got some little paper there. Um, you know, you could use them for birthdays, um, and you know what I was thinking too, they would be perfect for a gift card. So you could even put a gift card in there with the candy because who doesn't love candy and a gift card, right? So, um, and, or Christmas too, they, you could put some little Christmas, um, candies on the inside, the flatter, the candy, the better. So let me show you inside here. I have Hershey bars. And I was also thinking, been doing a lot of thinking lately. Um, these would be perfect if you guys are gonna have s'mores at maybe your holiday event. And you could get these out with, you know, your marshmallows and a graham cracker and put them all in a little, little bag. And um, then they have their chocolate bars ready to go. These have, um, oops, I forgot to attach that. These have little mints inside. So you could um, do that as well. And this is honestly just one of our clear envelopes. And I just cut it down a little bit and I um, did a little uh, manipulation here on the side and attached it. So that's another thing. Um, you know, you could have these that you're, you're, they'd be perfect for like place settings. They'd be perfect for baby showers, um, anything like that. So they're, they're super quick, cute, and easy. And I hope you guys will make lots of these and um, enjoy this project. Okay, so if you would like to share this video, I would greatly appreciate it. And um, if you, yes, it is. It's like a large matchbook. That's exactly right. And um, you, um, oh gosh, I just lost my train of thought. Oh, um, yeah, nope. It lost, I lost it. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and get started with the project. All right, everybody ready? So let me put these aside. And I used um, some of our current designer series paper, and this is from In Good Taste. So you have kind of the swirls and the, I'm not sure, the fancy, whatever, whatever these are. And then you also have, these are like the, it looks like tile, but these are perfect um, with the Night of Navy and the Real Red. And I have to show you this beautiful paper, okay? You guys know I'm a glimmer and shimmer girl. Can you see this paper? Isn't this awesome? Look at that shimmer. 
If I had a dress I like this, I would wear it, definitely. I don't know where, but I definitely would wear it. So, um, but check this out. And it's like ombre, so it fades from light to dark. And in case, it's one of those hidden gems in the back of the catalog. So that's what I cut my stars out of. And um, the stars, hi Lisa, hi Barbara, thanks for joining me, are actually from a Christmas, the tidings and trimming stamp set and the dies that go along with it. So it's the star um, die that fits this little guy here. So wouldn't this be perfect? You can make it with Christmas, but you could use the little stockings and you know, you could put, you could cut the little stocking out of the center and um, yeah, the possibilities are endless. So I'm excited to see what you guys might create with this. So you could just do, you know, just do a circle or a square and you're like, yeah, Dory, we went to kindergarten, we know our shapes, so let's keep going. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you the paper really quick, the ombre paper, the sparkle. It is actually back in the back of the catalog. It's on page 135 and it's number four. It's right here. It's the ombre specialty paper and it comes as gorgeous grape, mango melody, night of navy and poppy parade. And it, you can't see it here. Yes, Lisa, how many days until Christmas? Um, but it, they're sparkly, shimmery, they're amazing. Love it, okay? All right, so I am gonna show you this one. I didn't put it together because I thought the star was a little big, but you know what? You may like it and say, you know what, that's awesome. So, um, and the cool thing is you cut the star out and then you have it for something else. So you could use it on a card if you wanted to make a little card or, you know, something to, to coordinate along with your little favor. Um, this would even be good for cupcakes. So if you have cupcakes, you could put a little toothpick in here and you could use that as your, um, you know, the little topper for your cupcake. So yeah, don't throw this stuff away, right? Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. So we are gonna start with a piece of cardstock. Like I said, these are so easy. So if you have a pen or a pencil handy and you wanna jot this down, that's fine. If not, you can um, go over to my YouTube channel later today and it will be downloaded and, excuse me, and the directions will be there. So you'll have all your measurements and you'll be ready to go. So we're gonna put these aside. All right. And we're gonna pull out our trusty handy dandy simply scored tool, okay? And our card stock is going to be three and a quarter by 10, okay? And we're gonna score on the long side at four and a quarter, four and three quarters, and nine. And that's it. How cool and simple is that? Okay, so we're gonna fold this on our score lines. So this is gonna be the top and it gives you that little um, edge there, which is perfect, okay? And then you have your bottom piece here, just like that. And that's gonna be the piece that tucks in and folds up, okay? So I'm gonna do it with this one too. So, hi, Marsha. Thanks for joining me today. So again, four and a quarter, super simple. Four and three quarters and nine. There we go. There you have it. So we're gonna fold, fold, and fold. Okay, and that's it. Perfect, right? Like a little matchbook. So I'm gonna put this away. I don't need this anymore. I highly recommend that. If you don't have a Simply Scored um, tool in your life, it makes life a lot easier. If only it would solve all life's problems, it doesn't, but you know, it makes it easier when you're at least crafting. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna take our designer series paper and this is four by three. This is gonna go on the front and you wanna put it on the front first before you cut your star out, okay? If you don't, you're gonna have to cut twice and we don't, you know, we're trying to work, work smarter, not harder. Okay, and then you're gonna have a little strip that is three by three quarters and that goes right there on the bottom so there you have it super quick and simple let me see if yeah tom is right here he's waiting waiting so patiently 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this on. You can lay it out flat if you'd like. So your, and here's the other side too. It kind of looks like my grandma's old uh, carpet, but um, oh my gosh. And look what I just did. Yeah, I put it on the wrong side. So I'll cut another piece because I'm talking and you know, it's just how it goes sometimes. Nobody's perfect. Okay, here we go. So we are going to side to side. And this is gonna be our front piece here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my um, designer series paper on here. And the nice thing about when you use Tombow is you can move it around a little bit, okay? So there we go. Then I am going to quickly, swiftly cut a new piece that's gonna be three quarters by three, okay? Because I just put glue on the wrong piece, which happens sometimes. You get excited and then you put glue on the wrong side, all right? So, let's see. Here we go. There's my three quarters by three. And that's just a little piece at the bottom. You wanna tuck that in there just to give you that little, um, and we're gonna do it on the correct side this time. <laughs> oh, goodness, goodness me. It's just been one of those days so far today. All right, so we are going, oh yeah, Tom got a little, uh, little ahead of himself, but we'll just smooth that out. I don't know if you guys know, but our Tombow is pretty amazing because it has a thick, application side and it has a thin side. So if that were to happen, you can always um, kind of open it up and then use the other side just to spread things out a little bit. Because I needed that today. And if you're doing a larger project, you can also use the other side. Um, this makes it a little bit simpler. And there you go. Okay, there. So that's what it's gonna look like when you fold it. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is this is the star that comes with the tidings and trimmings die. And I'm gonna stick that right here on top of my project. And remember, you wanna fold it kind of so you, cause you don't want your star down too far because then your little flap will cover it, but you can put it up higher just like that. Okay, so I have my, stamp cut and emboss machine right here next to me. So I'm not gonna do it on the table because it will move the table. And I wanna make sure my star, and it, your star doesn't have to be perfectly aligned. If you want it you know, to be a little bit off or askew, um, you can do that too. Depends on what you are looking for. You wanna put it halfway in the center. We have these wonderful magnetic plates. Yeah, my star is not going to be perfect, but that's okay. I'm not perfect, so my star doesn't need to be perfect. Here we go. So we run it through, and then we pop it out. And then you have this. So you could use either side of this too, okay? And you pop that out, and then that gives you a little, and this one is not straight, and that's okay, right? So, next we're going to add our um, chocolates on the inside. So, I didn't realize that these little snack sizes only come in five. I mean, I could eat all five of those by myself and not share with any of my friends, but I'm going to be kind today. And um, so, you could do two or you can do three. I did three in the last one, but two would be perfectly fine. And um, you know, you just put them right there in the center just so that you can see the Hershey bar popping through so that everyone gets all excited that they're getting chocolate, okay? So what I'm going to use to attach these, because we don't want them to fall out, is tear and tape, okay? So I am going to, this is our roll of tear and tape. It's perfect for 3D projects and I am just going to tear the tape, hence its name. And I'm gonna put some on the back of here and here, just like that, okay? 
and it helps if you kind of rub the edge a little bit maybe maybe not today there we go okay and so you're just gonna you have this the top score line here and the bottom score line so you're gonna kind of put it in the center and you have your little Hershey bar it's making me hungry I haven't had lunch yet today and your other little Hershey bar and they're you know they're friends so they're gonna hang out right next to each other and then you have your little matchbox. How cute is that, right? Okay, so we have, I was, I was honestly looking for the perfect stamp to put on this because I'm not sure, um, you know, with stars and stripes and everything. So this is actually from the chicken set that we had and it said, let's celebrate you. So what I did is I took a piece of basic white cardstock and I did not ink up the whole thing, which is great because then I found this perfect sentiment that says, let's celebrate because you know, we're celebrating Independence Day. So here we go. So see how I only inked up a portion of it? And you wanna make sure the U doesn't have any Knight of Navy on it. And then you just go ahead and you stamp that right on there, okay? And then you have the let's celebrate. And then the next thing you're going to do is, so you could use the star that you cut out if you wanted to, and you could just um, add that to it because it's the one with the DSP on the other side, but uh, I don't think so. I need one that has a little bit of sparkle on it today. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this beautiful shimmer paper, okay? And I am going to run this through my stamp cut and emboss machine off on the side because I don't want to cause an earthquake on the video. And um, just going to run it through. I have my magnetic plate and my two, um, oops, my two clear plates. And check this out. You've got the shimmer going there. Look at that. Okay. And you could use whichever one. So you notice on this one, I use the, it's the ombre, so I use the lighter color, but you know, whatever makes you happy. So we are going to close this with a little bit of ribbon. And I thought red ribbon would only be fitting for red, right? I can't even talk. Red, white, and blue. So this is kind of what holds the whole thing together. And... I am taking some of my ribbon and I'm gonna tie it down at the bottom, just like so. And here we go. Just like so. Oof, sorry. I get nervous sometimes. My fingers get nervous when I tie. I have to tie bows on Facebook Live. Let's see if it works. There we go, perfect. All right, so we have that little ribbon there, okay? And then we are going to trim the ends. Okay, you can leave it a little bit long. It's kind of fun and a little bit whimsical. And then, of course, you guys were like, Dory, this is a project that doesn't have any dimensionals, and I'm sure you were worried about that, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some on here. Um, I did the Let's Celebrate, and it kind of also helps hold it together as well. So I put on one side and then the other side and um, I'm just going to go ahead and slide that right in there just like that. Anchored it on both sides with my dimensional and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to add my star. You can add your star wherever. I'm actually going to add it over here but if you wanted to put it somewhere else by all means please do. Okay, so you have your star that says let's celebrate. So you have your little chocolates in there and you can, um, or you can put mints in there or you know what, there's so many, You but you could probably put a Kit Kat in there, which would be great. You just need to make sure the candy is flat. So of course my favorite candy bar is a Snickers and we all know kind of how chunky a Snickers is. So that probably wouldn't be the perfect um, you know, perfect thing to add, but, um, 
uh, you know what, I it would be worth a try to, for me to be able to eat a Snickers. <laughs> but um, it might make your little thing a little bit more bulky, but you know, that's all right. Okay, so then I'm gonna add some embellishments. So um, I have, these are actually in the back of our catalog too, and they are our silver metallic pearls. We have silver and we have gold, and um, I cut them along the side. And I'm just gonna add these. You could also, they're gonna, yeah, just add a couple of these. Let's see. Around. We add them in, in odd numbers. So let me see, how many do you think I need? Do you guys think I need three? Or do you think I might need five? Let me know, what do you think? And we're gonna do like odd. Let me see. I think I might need five. I'm gonna put one here on the side of this. You can never have too many embellishments. Well, maybe you can, but um, it's just a fun way to add a little extra dimension to your project, okay? And let me see, where else would I put one? Maybe over here. Yeah, and the nice thing is you can kind of move these around a little bit. So those are your embellishments. You could use, um, here are some diamonds. They're the clear epoxy um, teardrops. You have the circles. This is a great time to use up some of those embellishments because we don't want to hoard those either, okay? So that is my quick and fun project for the day. I'll put them here like this, line them up, okay? And there you have it. And these would be perfect, like I said, for any, whoops, any occasion, birthday, um, and he, oh, and here are the two different size stars. Living on the edge today, <laughs> I sure am. Um, and you could even do like, you know, like a double star with this too. So you could, you know, cut one out and then the other one, and then you'd have the nice outline around the side too. So, um, so quick and easy, right? That's what we, what we like sometimes. And um, so later on, you can stop by my YouTube channel and you can check this out and all the dimensions will be there for you. I'm gonna put this on because I didn't do that before. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Please stay cool. Um, hopefully you're inside doing some stamping or you know something that brings you joy today. And um, I will be back on Friday at noon with a mystery project. So I hope that you will join me so have a great day. Oh, if you guys need anything, you can, I've got little shards of everything. Um, you can hop over to doryschneider.stampinup.net and you can use the host code for the month and um, you can purchase any products that you might need. So again, thank you for joining me and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care guys. Bye-bye.